Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. If you were thinking about buying a Cricut machine, or you've bought one but it's still in the box, then this tutorial on how to use Cricut Design Space is for you. Design Space is the number one reason that people are afraid to use their machine. Design Space is pretty user friendly once you get the hang of it, and you can pick how much you want to customize and make your own designs, or if you want to use Cricut Access and pay for designs that are ready to go. To use your machine, you just need to install Cricut Design Space on your computer, your phone, or your tablet. When you first open Design Space, you will come to this home screen. Today I'm going to walk you through the tools in Design Space, so just click on a new project. I'm going to walk you through the buttons that you can use to make your own projects. The first button creates new blank projects. Next is templates. This helps you design your project with an idea of where your cut lines and your layout will be. They have templates for everything from banners to shirts. Under that button is projects. These are ready-made projects sorted by theme or type. You can just click on the one that you like and press make it. The prices for each project are listed when you click on each one or they're free with Cricut Access. The next button is images. You can type in what you're looking for and you will get lots of choices on different images that you can use. Some are free and some cost a dollar or two. I'm going to skip text for a second and we'll get to that in a minute. Next is shapes. There are a few shapes to choose from. Just click on one and it will show up in your canvas area. There are four buttons around the shape. This one is to rotate it. The arrows are to resize bigger or smaller. The lock keeps the shape the same. And if you click and unlock it, you can stretch or change the shape and the X will delete it. The last button on this menu is upload. If you purchase a design or make your own in another program, you can upload it into Design Space here. Today we are going to make our own little summer sign. So we will start with the text button. Click on it and type in what you want to say. You can change the color with this button and beside you can choose your operation. The default is to cut everything out, but if you want to change your blade or switch to a pen, you can do that here. You can change your font and some are free and others are a fee unless you have Cricut Access. The style button only works on some fonts where you can change to bold or italic and others like this one you cannot. Every font has different spacing, so you can use this button to get it just how you like it. If there's more than one row of writing, you can use this button to adjust the spacing height. The next button is alignment, so let's change it to centered. This button is advanced for ungrouping letters, so let's just skip it for now and I'll talk about ungrouping in just a minute. The edit button is for basic operations like copying and pasting, and offset here adds an outline. You can choose how thick you want the outline to be and if your corners will be rounded or square. You can change the color on anything in Design Space, so let's just change the colors to make it a bit easier to see. Over on the right, these are the different layers on your design. Whatever one is at the top, you can see. If part of your design ever seems to have disappeared and goes missing, just try grabbing it and moving it to the top of this menu. This button is to flip your design. You can choose horizontal or vertical, and over here you can also type in a number value for rotating it if you're trying to get an exact angle. Most of the problems that people tend to have with their Cricut in the beginning are with font, specifically script fonts. So let's switch to handwriting and I'll show you a few things that you'll need to remember. This font seems to be kerned already, which just means that the spacing has been adjusted right so that the letters are all stuck together. But not all fonts are like this. Often you will find that they show up more like this, where the letters are all apart. Just adjust the letter spacing so that most of the letters are in the right place, and then press ungroup. Your ungroup button over here on the right hand side will change your phrase into individual letters. Just move the last few letters that need it so that they're where you want them. And if I stopped here and went to make it with a machine, you can see that all these letters are separated. If this happens to you, just click cancel. You can highlight all the letters again and click attach. This will keep your design together, but there is one problem. Do you see the little line between the letters? Your machine will cut that out and the word will not be one nice cut. So just press cancel again, go back to your design, but this time highlight the letters and press weld. Now all the letters will be completely stuck together and we'll cut in one polished look. Let's go into images and grab a sun so I can show you the last major button you'll probably want to use. 
This design has two different layers. The yellow in my writing and the yellow in the sun are different, and I wouldn't really want to cut both of those out of vinyl. So let's just click on this layer and change it to the same yellow as our writing. So the last button I'm going to show you is contour. You use contour if you want to change part of a design, and you can just take out the parts that you don't want. So click on the picture that you want to change, then down at the bottom click contour, and now you click the parts that you want to remove, and then click the X. And just like that, these parts are gone. Now you can just turn and reposition the sun how you like it. Well, there you have it. That was a quick crash course on what the buttons do in the Cricut Design Space and how to use them. For more videos on how and when to use weld, attach, group, and contour, you can check out some of these other tutorials where I walk you through them in detail. Thanks for joining me today. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.